Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use if statements in PHP. Now an if statement is basically a special programming structure which allows our programs to make decisions. So by using if statements, I can actually allow my program to respond to the different pieces of information in the program and do different things in different situations. So if statements are extremely useful and basically they just make our programs a lot smarter. So I'm gonna give you guys a total introduction into if statements. We'll look at a basic example and then later on in the course we're gonna use if statements to do a bunch of different stuff. So over here I have this little text file open and one of the cool things about if statements is that we actually encounter tons of if statements um, in our everyday lives. And I've kind of like highlighted a couple that you might see every day. Um, over here it says, I wake up, if I'm hungry, I eat breakfast. And this is actually an if statement, believe it or not. This is the type of thing that we're gonna be able to code into our programs. So I, it says, I wake up, if I'm hungry, I eat breakfast. Now, basically, this is saying that if a certain condition is true, then I'm gonna do something. So it says, if I'm hungry, and if I'm hungry is either true or false, right? You're either hungry or you're not. So if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat breakfast, right? So if this condition up here is true, then I'm gonna perform this action down here. I'm gonna eat breakfast. But if this condition up here is false, in other words, if I'm not hungry, then I'm just gonna move on, right? So I'm not gonna eat breakfast. I'm just gonna kind of move on with my life. Here's another one down here. It says, I look at my phone. If it's about to die, I charge it. And this is another if statement. So it says, if my phone's about to die, and this is a condition. So this is either true or it's false. If it's true, in other words, if my phone is about to die, then I charge it. If it's false, then I just move on. And then finally, there's one more down here. It says, I leave my house if it's cloudy. So here's a condition. The condition is saying, if it's cloudy. If that's true, if the condition is true, then I'm gonna bring an umbrella. Otherwise though, I'm gonna bring sunglasses. And you can see this if statement is a little bit different than the ones that I showed you up there because we have this little otherwise, right? So if it's not cloudy, in other words, if this condition up here is false, then we're gonna bring sunglasses. So this is essentially as complicated as if statements are. It's just, we're checking a condition, we're checking to see if something is true, like whether or not it's cloudy or whether or not your phone's about to die or whether or not you're hungry. We're checking a condition. If that condition's true, we're gonna do something. And in some cases, if that condition's false, like down here, we could do something else. So I wanna show you guys how we can sort of use this type of if logic in our programs to help our programs to make decisions. All right, so I'm gonna go back over here to my site.php file, and this is the file that I'm you know, sort of writing all my PHP in. And then down here in the PHP blocks, I'm actually gonna create an if statement. So I'm gonna create a very simple if statement just to illustrate how we can do this in PHP. All right, so down here, the first thing I'm gonna do before I create my if statement is I'm actually gonna create a variable. So I'm just gonna say um, dollar sign and I'm gonna call this variable is male. And this variable is gonna keep track of whether or not someone is a male. So I'm gonna say is male and why don't we just set this equal to true. So this is a Boolean variable. It's storing a Boolean value, which means it's storing a true or a false value. Now that I have this Boolean variable, what I wanna do is I wanna write a program that will respond to this. So let's say that inside of my program, if the person's male, in other words, if this variable is true, I wanna do something. In order to do that, I can use an if statement. So I could come down here and I could just say if, and then I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. And this is sort of like the general template, the general uh, skeleton of an if statement. So over here in these parentheses, I want to write a condition, right? So if you remember when we were looking at those if statements, like those real life if statements, I had a bunch of different conditions, like if my phone is charged or if I'm hungry or if it's cloudy outside, right? I had all those conditions that were either true or false. And that's exactly what I wanna put inside of these parentheses. Essentially, I wanna put a condition that's gonna be either true or false. In our case, we have this variable up here is male, and this is a Boolean variable. So it's either true or false. So we can actually use this variable as the condition for our if statement. So I could say if, 
and then down here I'm just gonna say is male. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm checking to see if the person is male. And if the person's male, then inside of these curly brackets, I can specify what we wanna do. So I could just basically echo out like, you are male. And so now this if statement is actually gonna be able to respond to this variable. So if this variable is male is true, then we're gonna print out you are male. But if it's not true, then we're just gonna move on and we're not gonna print out you are male. So let's go ahead and run this program. And you'll see over here, it says you are male. The value of is male was true, but if I change this to false, now when I run my program, we're not gonna be printing out you are male. We're just gonna print out nothing. And that's because over here, this line of code, in other words, the line of code that's in between these curly brackets is only gonna get executed when this condition up here inside the parentheses is false. And so down here, I can specify whatever code I want. I mean, I could have you know 20 or 30 lines of code if I wanted to. I just have one here for simplicity's sake. But let's say that we wanna make this a little bit more complex, right? So over here, when the person's male, we're able to tell them that, right? So if this variable over here is true, then we'll execute this line of code. But what about when the variable is false? What about when the condition up here is false? Let's say that instead of just moving on and printing out nothing, we wanted to tell them that they weren't male. So we wanted to print out like, hey, you're not male. Well, what I could do is I could come down here and I can use another keyword in PHP, which is called else. So I can say else, just like that. I can make an open and close curly bracket and now down here inside of this open and close curly bracket, I can specify code that's gonna get executed when this condition up here is false. So I could actually come down here and I could print out echo and I could say you are not male. And so now if this variable up here is set to false, in other words, if the condition inside of these quotation marks is false, then we're gonna execute this line of code. So let me show you guys that. Since is male is false, now when I refresh my page, our program will respond to that. So my program is saying, you are not male. In other words, my program is now smart enough to be able to respond to this variable. So if that variable is true, my program can respond to it. If it's false, my program can also respond to it. That's because I put this variable here in this if condition. And so that's really the basics of what an if statement is. It allows us to respond to different situations. In the situation that the person's male, we're able to respond to that and tell them that they're male. In the situation that they're not male, we can also respond to that. And really at a core level, that's what an if statement is. It's just a way for us to respond to the different information, to the different data that is inside of our programs but really this is just scratching the surface. So I wanna show you guys how we can make this even more powerful. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create another variable up here. So in addition to a variable called isMail, I'm also gonna create a variable called isTall. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this equal to true. So this is also gonna be a Boolean variable. And why don't I also set this guy equal to true up here? So now, not only am I dealing with one piece of information, but I'm dealing with two pieces of information. So let's see if we can make our if statement powerful enough to be able to handle both of these pieces of data. Well, let's say that when the person was male and when the person was tall, we wanted to do something. So if the person was like a tall male, then we wanted to be able to tell them that. I could actually come down here and I could modify this condition. So instead of just checking to see if they're male, I'm also gonna check to see if they're tall. So over here inside of this condition, I can say if is male, and then I can use what's called the and operator. And it's just two ampersands just like this. And basically what this is gonna allow me to do is check another condition. So in addition to just checking the is male condition, I could also come over here and I could check to see if they're also tall. And basically what this is saying is if the person is male and they're tall, then we're gonna execute this code down here. But if they're not male or they're not tall, then we're gonna go ahead and execute this down here. So in order for this condition to be true, they have to be both male and they also have to be tall. So down here I could say like, you are a tall male. 
because if this code gets executed, that means they're both male and tall. So now when I run my program, you guys will see because both of these are true, now it's gonna tell me that. So it's gonna say, you are a tall male. But here's the problem. If I came over here and set one of these guys equal to false, so if I set is tall equal to false, now because both of these guys aren't true, in other words, because one of them is false, now this whole thing is gonna be false and we're gonna come down here and print this out. And so it's gonna say you are not male. So obviously we could change the text for that, but you guys will see what happens. So I'm gonna refresh the page and now it says you are not male. So basically it executed the code that was down here in this else block because one of these guys was false. And that would do the same thing if both of them were false. So when I use that and operator, both of these guys have to be true. And I also wanna show you guys another operator, which is called the or operator. And the or operator is just two vertical bars, just like that. And it's actually very similar to the and operator. It allows us to check two conditions. But the difference is with the or operator, only one of these conditions needs to be true in order for the whole thing to be true. So unlike and where is male had to be true and is tall had to be true. Now only one of these guys has to be true and we'll still execute this code. So you'll see here because is male is true, we're still gonna be able to say that you're a tall male. And you can see it works out just like that. So that's sort of the difference between and and or. Essentially it just allows us to check multiple conditions. Um, I'm actually gonna turn this back to and and Let's sort of talk about this if statement some more. So you'll notice here, I'm checking to see if they're male and I'm also checking to see if they're tall, right? So in a situation like that, we can tell them that. So we can tell them, hey, you're a tall male. But what about the situation where they're male, but they're not tall? Let's say that in that situation, in the situation where um, this condition is true and this condition is false, I wanted to do something else. So maybe I wanted to print out like, hey, you are a short male because they're not tall. Well, I can actually account for that and I can use something called an else if. And an else if is basically a way for me to check another condition if this condition up here is false. So what I could do is I could come down here and I'm just gonna type out else if, just like that. And then I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and I'm gonna make an open and close curly bracket and then I'm just gonna type enter. So you can see how I basically just embedded this little else if right in here and it goes before this else. So here's this if statement and we have this opening curly bracket, the closing curly bracket. We have the else if with the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket. And then here's that else finally. So basically what this means is if this condition up here is false, then instead of just jumping down here to the else, we're gonna come at down here to the else if and we're gonna check another condition. So over here in these parentheses, I can actually specify another condition. And let's say that we wanna to check to see if the person is male and they're not tall. So instead of checking to see if they're tall, I wanna to check to see if they're not tall. So I can actually come down here and say dollar sign is male. So I wanna to check to see if they're male and I wanna to check to see now if they're not tall. And in order to check to see if they're not tall, I can use something called the negation operator. And the negation operator will basically take the opposite of the condition that we specify. So I could say exclamation point just like that, and then I can type out is tall. And because I included this exclamation point here, it's basically gonna negate whatever this value is. So if that value is true, then this exclamation point is gonna make it false. And if that value is false, the exclamation point is gonna make it true. And so essentially we can use this exclamation point to check to see if they're not tall. And so I would read this else if is male and not is tall. So is not tall. And so down here, what we could do is we could actually print out you are a short male. So I could say you are a short male. And so now if I set is tall equal to false, like I did up here, this if statement is actually going to be able to catch that. So now when I refresh my page, it's telling me you are a short male. So it checked this condition up here, and this condition was false because one of these guys was false. Then, since this was false, it came down here and checked this else if, and it checked to see if they were male and if they were not tall. And that ended up being true because 
is male is true and is tall is false. And so we print it out, you are a short male. So I could do the same exact thing for the other scenario where they're tall, but they're not male. So I could actually come down here and I'm gonna make another else if. So I'm just gonna say else if, open and close parentheses, open and close curly bracket, and I'm gonna click enter. So now I have another else if here and I'm gonna check another condition. Now I wanna to check to see if they're not male and they're tall. So I can say exclamation point dollar sign is male and dollar sign is tall. So this is gonna be true when they're not male, in other words, when is male is equal to false, and when is tall is equal to true. So I can, again, just kind of copy this guy, and I'm gonna say you are not male, but are tall. So I'm basically saying that they're not a male, but nonetheless, they are tall. So basically now we're covering every possible situation. We're covering the situation where they're male and tall. We're covering the situation where they're male and short. We're covering the situation where they're tall but not male. And then finally down here, this else is gonna cover the condition where they're not male and not tall. So I could say you are not male and not tall. And basically this else is gonna get executed when none of these conditions up here is true. So when none of that is true, we'll come down here and we'll execute this else. So we actually have an if statement that will cover every possible scenario for these two variables. So if they're both equal to true, it's gonna tell us you're a tall male. If is male is equal to false, our program's gonna be able to respond to that. So our program will tell us you're not male, but are tall. If I set is tall equal to false, and I set is male equal to true, our program once again is gonna be smart enough to respond to that. So it's gonna say, you are a short male. And finally, if I set both of these guys equal to false, then our program once again will respond to that, and it's gonna say, you are not male and not tall. So using these if statements, my program was able to respond to the different pieces of information that it was given. And in this tutorial, I covered a lot of the basics. I covered how to use if, how to use else if, how to use else. Um, we talked about this and operator. We talked about the or operator. We talked about the negation operator. But there's actually a lot more to talk about. And in the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about another subject with if statements, which is called comparisons. So inside of these if statements, Instead of just using like Boolean variables like I did over here, I could actually compare different pieces of information. So I could compare like numbers or strings um, or you know different, different types of information and I could use those comparisons as the basis for my if statement conditions. So stick around for that and we're gonna talk about how we can use comparisons with if statements. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.